Hello and welcome families and students of the class of 2025. My name is Julie Gavoni and I am one of two assistant principals at Weston High School. And I'm thrilled to be introducing you to some important sites and documents that you will need as part of our course selection process. In addition, throughout this video, you will meet other members of our staff who will be providing important information. And we really hope that you will sit down together to review these materials. So you can see here, I am on the front page of the Weston High School website. And when you visit the site, there are lots of important links on the front page, very easily accessed under quick links. Two really important documents that you should take a look at as part of our scheduling process are the 2122 Academic Pathways document, as well as the 2122 Program of Studies. Just a, a quick look. So here is our Program of Studies. And you can see that it is quite a comprehensive document that includes a listing of all of the courses we offer, as well as descriptions of each one of those courses. So as you're selecting your courses for ninth grade, this is a great resource to look through and try to get a sense of what is expected within each one of those courses. Another way to look at our course offerings is through the Academic Pathways document. This is a little bit more visual. And so there is a slide for each department here at the high school that allows you to see the courses that are offered within that department. And they are broken down into um, which year you might take those courses or what sequence you might use for moving through those courses. So we encourage you to look through both the program of studies and the academic pathways document. You should have received at this time from your eighth grade counselor, a copy of the Weston High School course selection worksheet. This sheet outlines the course selection process and timeline here at the top. On the bottom, there is a space for you to plan out the courses that you hope to take as a ninth grader. And on page two, you have access to our graduation planner. So this is a, a broader four-year look at what courses you might take over your career at Weston High School. As you know, the portal in PowerSchool opens tomorrow afternoon, February 26th, for students and parents to be able to select courses for next year. This is not a registration process, so it's not first come, first serve. It is uh, important that you select the courses that are most appropriate for you. So we encourage you to take your time and look through these documents before selecting your courses in PowerSchool. The portal will be open for editing course selection through March 15th. And over the course of those few weeks, uh, students will have an opportunity to meet with their school counselor to talk about the courses that they are selecting. So we're really excited to welcome you to our course selection process. Um, and as you'll see following this video, you will get to meet each one of our curriculum instructional leaders, and they will talk to you a little bit about the courses that are offered within their departments. And some of them may also touch on some of the clubs that we have at the high school that are related to each of our academic departments. Speaking of clubs, I want to just direct you back to that Weston High School website and show you that we also have under Student Quick Links an athletics page and a student life and activities page. Uh, and I will show you briefly what they look like. This is our athletics page. There's a lot of information available here about the sports uh, teams that we offer. And um, there will also be information coming out this spring. So keep an eye out for that. And we have a Weston High School student activities page. Lots of information on the left side here. Each active club at the high school has uh, an individual page as part of this site. So you can take some time to browse through here and see what clubs or activities might be of interest to you. In the fall, we will have a club fair where you will have an opportunity to sign up to participate in some of these activities. Uh, I won't take up any more of your time because you have some other people to meet. I will just say again that we're excited to meet you and welcome you into our community at Weston High School.
Hi, my name is Christine Sincata, and I am the English Language Arts Curriculum Instructional Leader for grades 6 through 12. The teachers of the Western High School English Department are so excited to welcome your children into our classes next school year. Um, and we look forward to supporting them as they grow as thinkers, writers, and readers over their four years here. English is required each year your child is enrolled at the high school full year course. Um, for our freshmen, though, we offer two courses, English 9 Standard and English 9 Honors. In both of these courses, students will read and analyze a variety of texts across genres. So they'll read fiction, nonfiction, drama, poetry, um, we'll even analyze film. Um, so we have a lot of opportunities to read a variety of texts. Um, students will develop their writing skills as well as their critical and creative thinking skills. Parents often ask what the difference is between English 9 Honors and Standard. I would say one of the big differences is that in the 9 Honors classes, students read more complex texts, which in turn require more serious analytical interpretation. So students who feel confident reading these texts will in turn feel more confident um, reading, discussing, um, and writing about these texts in the 9 Honors classroom. And while all of our freshmen have opportunities to refine their writing skills throughout the year, um, in nine honors, there are more extensive writing assignments. So students who have some advanced facility with the written language tend to find more success in the course. I will say this though, that uh, we students can uh, move into honors courses in subsequent years if they are in English 9 standards. So I don't want anyone to think that students are, I'll use the word tracked in any way. Um, if a student is an English 9 standard as a freshman and that student um, shows success in English 9 standard and is ready to challenge, um, ready for a challenge, I guess I should say, in the English course offerings, a student can very well be recommended for English 10 honors um, during sophomore year, or for sophomore year, I should say. Um, and, and I would say that's fairly common that we do see students in standard classes once they are developmentally ready, moving into honors classes. Freshmen are also able to take creative writing, which is available to students in grades nine through 12, you can see the description on your screen that this is a workshop style course. So students have an opportunity to write, to receive feedback, to talk, to discuss to their peers in the course. And of course, get all of that from their teacher also who is helping them grow in these skills. Students who are in creative writing can also take it again in subsequent years um, with appropriate modifications for the advanced study of creative writing. So if you have a child who's very much interested in this, it's great for them to take it as a freshman and then repeat it um, at some other point in time in high school. We also have other opportunities for our students. Um, we have our school newspaper, the Western War Horse, where they can join the staff as writers and move into editorial positions. Filament, our literary and arts magazine, um, they can either submit um, writing to that or, or actually anything in the visual arts can be submitted to that too. Or they can be on the staff. Um, the staff promotes the magazine, um, tries to get students involved in it, um, looks through all the submissions and figures out what makes the cut to get into the magazine. So that's another thing for our students who are interested in the um, creative writing and the arts um, to be a part of that. We also offer Poetry Out Loud and Poetry Ourselves, which are actually national competitions, but we have competitions here at Western High School. Poetry Out Loud is uh, a dynamic recitation competition for poetry where they are reading published poets' poems and finding ways to recite it um, in a way that's compelling. Poetry Ourselves, students write their own poems and can either recite them or submit them to um, a publication. We also have a writing center, uh, which is an excellent resource. It is staffed by English teacher and open most periods during the day. Students can go in there with anything. So it's not just English assignments. It could be social studies, health, science, whatever it is they're working on that they need some uh, feedback on or, some, or, or they're stuck. They need someone to guide them along. They can receive feedback on any of those assignments. And it's great because it is one-on-one. -on -one. It is so highly personalized. Um, it's, it's a real-time conversation on how to improve your writing skills. Appointments are made online. 
Um, in the past, we would meet with students face to face, but we've been meeting on Zoom this year, um, and it's working very well. Our students are, it's, I, I will say, is a very popular resource, um, and I would encourage your children as freshmen to start using this because it really is an amazing resource and available to all of our students. Um, so I just wanted to say again how excited we are to be a part of your child's English journey over the four years of Weston High School. Um, and if you have any other questions, feel free to reach out to me. Thank you so much. Hello, I'm Sydney Girardi, the CIL for Visual Arts K-12. I'd like to talk briefly about the visual arts courses available at Weston High School. We offer a vast range of visual arts courses for students to choose from. These options include studio arts, photography, and digital media. So there's truly something for everybody. The Academic Pathways infographic shows the courses and our recommendations according to student interest. The left-hand column shows our recommendation for students who really love art and may want to pursue art in college and even beyond. Students should start with Drawing 1 and Drawing 2. Students who may be interested in pursuing architecture or industrial design in college should take these drawing courses. Top art schools still request traditional art portfolios for these majors. Follow Drawing 1 and 2 with Painting and Advanced Drawing, then Studio or AP Studio Art as a junior or senior. Experimental Art and Design or 3D Art and Design are great for students who just want to experiment with different art processes and media. Experimental art and design uses two-dimensional media like drawing, painting, or printmaking, while 3D art and design focuses on three-dimensional media like ceramics and sculpture. Creative computer applications focuses on creative presentation design using software that students already use or have on their computers like Microsoft, Google, and Apple apps. The techniques learned in this class are very useful for presentations in other classes. CMD and Advanced CMD are digital design courses. CMD covers Photoshop design, digital drawing, and basic layout design. Advanced CMD offers individual pathways to learn more Photoshop design, digital drawing, animation, web design, layout design, stop motion animation, and more. Photography 1 covers photography basics using digital photography processes. Photography 2 and Advanced Photography include both digital and traditional photo with increasingly complex processes and techniques. Successful completion of advanced photo allows students to take AP Studio Art with a focus on photography. Video 1, 2, and advanced videography teach students to comprehend and develop contemporary media, film, video, and television. Students will create scripts, learn proper use of video equipment, and utilize various video techniques. Advanced students will focus on independent projects. Sports journalism and broadcasting in the advanced level course introduce students to authentic broadcasts of live streaming sporting events. Students will call play-by-play -play commentary and, ana and analysis, operate live graphics, work network quality cameras, and more. If you have any questions about any of these course offerings, please don't hesitate to email me. I'd love to hear from you. Hi everyone, I'm Mrs. Morris. I'm the Curriculum and Instructional Leader for Music and the Performing Arts here at the high school. I'm going to talk to you a little bit about some of the performing arts opportunities and course selections as you're coming up to the high school. We do offer a couple of non-performance music courses. Uh, we have Music Technology and Advanced Music Technology, which takes place in our Digital Music Lab. We also have Music Theory and AP Music Theory, and those run every other year. Um, but our biggest classes here are our performance classes. Those of you who take chorus, band, or orchestra, or who are interested in playing an instrument or singing in choir might want to take some of those courses. And I do have some of our music teachers here to talk to you a little bit more about that. I teach band, music technology, and music theory here at Weston High School. We have concert band, symphonic band, wind ensemble. As you can see in the background, music technology one and two and uh, Music Theory 1. Here's a short clip of the jazz ensemble, an auditioned ensemble playing in New Orleans. Hi guys.
guys, I'm Mrs. Stewart and I teach orchestra at the high school. We have two options for string students. The first is string orchestra, that's our standard level ensemble. And the second is symphony, which is our honors level group. Check out this clip of us performing at Disney, a combined performance with both groups during our Disney for Young Musicians experience in 2019. Hi, it's Mrs. Morris again. I'm also the choir director here at the high school. We have three choirs here. We have concert choir, which is available for you um, as incoming freshmen to participate in next year. We also have two audition group, women's choir and the chamber singers. Um, we have a little video to show you of one of our trips that we took to Montreal with our chamber singers singing in the Basilica. The music department is very active here at the high school and some of our co-curricular clubs operate alongside of our music courses. Um, our theater club company is a way for you to get involved um, here in our program. And also our Music Honor Society Tri-M offers many performance opportunities and is another way for you to get involved in our music department here at the high school. So we're so excited that you're coming to the high school next year and we look forward to seeing you. Hello, eighth grade parents. My name is Janine Russo, and I am the curriculum instructional leader for grades six through 12 math. You may remember me from three years ago when I spoke to you as fifth grade parents about our middle school math program. Congratulations on surviving the middle school years. I'm here today to talk to you about the high school math program. Eighth grade students take one of three math classes, math eight, algebra one, or honors geometry. As you can see here, those three classes feed into one of six courses for freshmen at Weston High School. Students who are currently taking Math 8 will be recommended either for Standard Algebra 1 or our Accelerated Algebra and Geometry course. The Algebra 1 course reinforces the concepts learned in Math 8 and then extends to more advanced Algebra 1 topics like factoring and quadratic functions. Following Algebra 1 in 9th grade, students typically follow the Geometry, Algebra 2, and Pre-Calculus pathway. Our Accelerated Algebra and Geometry course is designed to round out the integrated Algebra Geometry experience the students have had throughout middle school. This course takes the algebraic topics students learned in middle school and applies them to problems involving geometric reasoning. This course also rounds out any Algebra and Geometry concepts that are not covered in the middle school curriculum. Students who successfully complete this course move on to Algebra 2 at the Standard or Honors level and eventually are eligible to take calculus as seniors. Students currently taking Algebra 1 as 8th graders typically move into one of our geometry courses, either Honors or Standard level. The primary difference between these two levels is the demand on abstract reasoning ability and problem solving. Our Honors course also features an extensive study of formal logic and proof. A handful of 8th grade Algebra 1 students will also take the, al the Accelerated Algebra Geometry course if they're looking to better solidify their foundational skills prior to, move, prior to moving on to higher level math. Most of our students who take Geometry as 8th graders will be recommended to take Honors Algebra 2 as freshmen, though some of them choose the standard pathway. As you can see, this pathway, the Honors Algebra 2 as freshmen, leads to two years of calculus prior to leaving Weston High. We offer a few elective courses in the math department as well, including statistics at a standard and AP level and personal finance. Our computer science courses are addressed in the technology pathways video. Students often take these electives concurrently with another math course. The math de department also offers a few co-curricular activities. Each year we field a team in the Fairfield County Math League competitions. And we also have students participate in the, the American Mathematics competition each year. Throughout their four years at Weston High School, students have the opportunity to move between the standard and honors level based on performance in their current course, as well as their current teacher's recommendation. No matter what their pathway, students experience a variety of learning formats and engage in problem solving, critical thinking, and communication skills that help them well beyond the math classroom. We are looking forward to welcoming the class of 2025 to Weston High School. Please feel free to contact me should you have any questions about the math pathways. 
Hello, eighth graders. It's Mrs. Powers here. I'm the curriculum instructional leader for the district, which means I'm going to be telling you about what's going to be happening in grade nine, health and PE wise. So if you guys check this uh, card out here, you're going to see the topics that you'll be covering in grade, uh, grade nine. So in, let's start with health. In, um, the first thing that you'll do is uh, the DBT Steps A program. We had an introduction this year, but you will do an in-depth uh, dive into that. Uh, two other exciting units, how to survive and thrive in high school and perceptions versus reality. They go over you know, what's really going on in high school um, to ease your fears and to give you guys a little confidence and uh, substance abuse. And then in PE, we um, focus personalizing fitness. Uh, we, of course, do the Connecticut physical fitness test and prepare for that. And then there's also an introduction to CPR. And um, I'm not going to go through the other grades in depth, but you'll see in PE there's um, CPR certification in grade 10, then refreshers, and then a recertification in grade 12. There's um, an emphasis on lifetime sports in grade 12 and individual and team sports in grades like 10 and 11. And in uh, health, other things to look forward to is um, finishing up the DBT Steps A program and an extensive human sexuality unit and, uh, focusing on relationships as well, a junior research project, and then life after Weston High School in grade 12 before you graduate. And your teachers will be Mrs. Blank, Mr. Murray, Mr. Richitelli, and Mrs. Wilson. If you guys have any questions, you can see me in the hall or in class or you can email one of these teachers. So, hope you guys enjoy the rest of your information day or night. Hey everyone, my name is Jamie Charles and I'm the science CIL for the middle school and the high school here. Uh, I wanna take this time to give you an overview of our science program here at the high school and hopefully, um, you know, give you a good look at all the possible courses that are awaiting you in your future. So you'll see in the overall pathways diagram here, um, it's divided up by year. So freshman year is always some form of biology, either honors biology or standard biology. And just to give you a quick overview, this is from the program of studies that gives you a quick explanation as to the difference. But, you know, both courses um, study the whole broad concepts of biology and, and really understand that diversity yet the interrelatedness of living things and study topics from, um, you know, the molecular, the DNA level, the, the different chemistry that goes on within our bodies to, to sustain us all the way up to the huge concepts of ecology and, and um, evolution. And um, both, you know, really take a very hands-on interactive approach through experimental design, through um, collaborating, through problem solving, um, a lot of case studies are involved. So it's a very um, relevant, very interactive way to, to study the biology of life on this planet. Um, and a key difference with honors biology is that it's more fast paced. Uh, we'll go with a little deeper dive into a lot of the topics. Um, you know, there may be more work requirements, a little more rigor and um, I think you're you're all aware that it it is based on your performance in eighth grade science, as well as a prognosis test that we give um, to all of those interested in taking honors biology in eighth grade and teacher recommendation in terms of, you know, having a grasp on how well students are able to handle those higher level thinking and expectations. So that's for freshman year, those different courses. And then we'll go back to here and you see that sophomore year involves chemistry. Again, the two different levels of um, standard and honors chemistry. And after that, there's a lot of choice. So you'll see that it, it's really based on student passion as to the course that they'd like to take after that. But we have a, a, a wider range of, of topics that are, um, you know, totally dependent on, on what the student is passionate about. So um, different physics uh, explorations. Um, and again, those that are really interested in that, that mathematical side, that problem solving side, that, that interactive side of understanding like why things do the way they do in nature um, would often involve two years of physics. So either the, the standard or the honors first, followed by one of our AP levels. Um, we also have environmental science, both the standard level and the AP level. And then following up on the biology and the chemistry experience, we have 
AP Biology and AP Chemistry. Um, we also have electives available, Anatomy and Physiology and Animal Behavior and Forensics. Those are all semester courses. And we also have um, our relatively recent Honors Science Research course. It's a full year course where um, students explore a scientific research um, problem of their own design. It's a full year course. Um, they could be taken over multiple years if the student wants to then take their project uh, to another level or, or maybe investigate something else. But um, a very cool, very different course that's really student driven and dependent on, uh, you know, student passion and motivation to really dive in and study something new that's going to that's going to provide some new insight into the scientific community. Um, so I gave you a background on biology, a couple of quick pictures here to, to get you excited about these other courses. So here you have one of our chemistry teachers helping you see a lot of the different changes to matter and, and changes to energy that you'll study in chemistry. Uh, physics studies a lot of things like, um, you know, gravitational pull and velocity and acceleration and force. Uh, a lot of cool hands-on demonstrations that, that you'll do there. Uh, environmental science involves a lot of the, um, you know, interactions that occur in different parts of the ecosystem. So these are ecotubes that our students build that uh, involve some living fish at the bottom and, and um, this production of plants at the top and really tracking the cycling of nutrients and minerals uh, and chemicals through the different uh, parts of the ecosystem. This is a quick picture from our science research lab. This is a uh, pretty complex HPC chromatograph uh, machine that, again, just gives you some insight into the very, very cool machinery that we have available here. And finally, we have just a picture of, of a crime scene, right? Our forensics class involves uh, that hands-on understanding of how scientists actually investigate and solve crimes, including some, uh, some really cool yet uh, simulated crime scenes. So I hope this helps you appreciate all the different science courses that are available here. And um, I look forward to meeting you. Welcome. Hey there, uh, future ninth grade students and parents of future ninth grade students. My name is Mr. Torres, and I am the Social Studies Department CIL. I'm going to tell you a little bit about our course offerings. So you'll see in freshman year, all students take the same world studies class. There is no honors option in the ninth grade. We want every student to get the same exact thing to guarantee that they have foundational skills that they'll need to be successful in their social studies classes in 10th, 11th, and 12th grades. So next year, students will be working on important skills like source analysis, how to critique sources, how to vet sources, um, they'll be learning how to develop compelling historical questions and learning how to go through the inquiry process to answer those questions. In uh, sophomore, junior, and senior year, students have standard options as well as honors and AP options for all of their required coursework. So everything in the top row here is a required option. Uh, the real kind of exciting thing about the social studies department is that we offer uh, a pretty strong selection of electives. So every elective that you see here in the middle row is a half year uh, standard elective class that is open to every student beginning in grade 10. And if students want to extend their um, elective uh, knowledge even a little bit further. We have four AP elective options, human geography, psychology, microeconomics, and macroeconomics. Uh, students have a really great time exploring all of the different kinds of classes that we offer within the social studies department. And in addition to developing really uh, strong skills and content knowledge, uh, these courses also give them an opportunity to think about some of the things they might want to study when they go off to a university. So we're really excited about next year. We hope you are too, and we can't wait to see you in World Studies. Hello, eighth grade students and parents. My name is Matt Phillip. I am here to talk about our technology offerings at Weston High School. I am actually an assistant principal, but um, 
presenting the technology offerings because they don't really live in a department or at least one single department. Uh, our engineering courses are uh, sort of tied into our science department, whereas our computing, computer coding courses are technically part of our math department. So um, we have those two opportunities available for you. If I show you our pathways here for technology, on the left, you see Project Lead the Way. There are four courses we offer in Project Lead the Way. The first, which is available to you as a freshman, is Introduction to Engineering Design. Um, this is a full year course. It would teach you about the engineering design process. You're going to use 3D modeling software. You're going to be spending most of your time in one of our computer labs. Um, and it's a very much a student driven course. It's project based. There will be some, obviously, sort of lecture style, but most of all, you are spending time working with your classmates um, to, to solve problems, solve engineering problems, and, and create something. It's actually a really interesting course, and it is, uh, as the name implies, the introduction to the rest of the Project Lead the Way offerings. Um, and you can see them there. They are Computer Integrated Manufacturing, Principles of Engineering, and Civil Engineering and Architecture. And those last two are offered at the honors level, both of those, um, if you get to that point. So it is a four-year course sequence. If you're interested in doing all of that, um, you can certainly just try by taking the first one. And you don't have to take intro at, as a freshman. If you want to wait till sophomore year or later, you can. Um, but if you are really passionate about engineering, I think it's a great program that you might want to check out. The other technology offering we have is computer science. Um, on the right side there, we have two semester-long courses, which are Intro to Coding and Coding 2. Um, and those are available to you, again, as a freshman. And then if you pass each of those and, and do well and are interested in pursuing more rigorous courses, we offer two different AP computer science courses. One is Computer Science Principles. That is a more equivalent to an introductory course in college where you're learning about computational thinking. Um, whereas if you go into AP Computer Science A, that is getting into the programming language of Java. So a lot to consider in technology and, and a number of different offerings for you, and I um, hope you might consider them. Thanks. Hello, I'm Mercedes Fernandez, Curriculum Instructional Leader for World Languages K-12, and I'm here to talk to you a little bit about the World Language course offerings we have in the high school. Students participate in world language in mixed grade classes, which means you will be placed according to your ability level. We recommend you take three to four consecutive years of the same language. If you're currently taking French or Spanish, I highly recommend you continue taking the same language in the high school. They also encourage you to consider taking another language. We have French, Latin, Mandarin Chinese, and Spanish. If you're currently enrolled in French, you will be placed in French level two in the high school. And by the time you reach your senior year, you will be able to participate in French five or five AP. Likewise, if you're currently enrolled in Spanish, you will most likely place in Spanish level three in the high school. And by the time you reach senior year, you will be able to participate in Spanish 6 AP, 6 Standard, or 6 Honors. As a freshman, you may also enroll in Latin Level 1 or Mandarin Chinese Level 1. All through these courses, you will continue to develop your language skills, but at the same time, you will deepen your understanding of the target cultures. Finally, you will also be able to participate in all the language clubs we have to offer and in the honor societies. On behalf of the World Language Department, we uh, look forward to meeting you in the fall. Thank you. Greetings, parents of the class of 2025. For those of you who may not know who I am, my name is Meredith Starzik and I am the director of the school counseling department. At the high school, we have a total of five school counselors, including myself, who split our caseloads alphabetically. Students remain with their school counselor for all four years at Weston High School. We will work with your students on academic planning as well as social emotional well-being. 
your student will be notified of who their school counselor will be in August prior to the start of the school year. Additional resources in our department include a school psychologist, a school social worker, and a certified college and career counselor. As you have already heard from other videos, the course selection process for the incoming ninth grade has been carefully planned out for you. High school counselors will be available to work with students and families regarding any course selection concerns in August. I look forward to meeting you and your families over the upcoming.